My first guest tonight is a very talented journalist and interviewer. She uh, hosts two shows here on CBS, the early show weekday mornings and the new season of Big Brother, Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays, my lord, at, uh, at 8. Take a look at this clip. Imagine what would happen if he didn't make it in. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Julie Chen, everybody. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, you very just much. Wonderful. Well, I'm just off vacation, so I'm rested really? and tanned, and then I got sick. But I didn't get sick till I went back to work, so it was good vacation. That's when you got to do it. I know. Where did you go on vacation? Um, we were. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, you look very just much. Wonderful. Well, I'm just off vacation, so I'm rested really? and tanned, and then I got sick. But I didn't get sick till I went back to work, so it was good vacation. That's when you got to do it. I know. Where did you go on vacation? Um, we were on a boat, and we were just off the coast of Italy, so we visited. We? we? Were you with your lovely husband, I'm my boss, the head of CBS, <laughs> Leslie Moonves? God bless you, Leslie. <laughs> Yes, I yeah, was. I yeah, was. Yeah. Um, and we, we went to some great towns. Where did you go to in Italy? We went to Sardinia, Capri, um, oh, wow. Positano. Yeah. Oh, get you, girlfriend. We ate so much. <laughs> get you. Do, you. do you like Italy? Do you like the Italian food and all that kind oh, of stuff? Oh, my God. I could have had um, linguine with clam sauce, but there you just call it vongole. Vongole. And that's, all, that's the only Italian I needed to that learn. That sounds like an air conditioner, doesn't it? <laughs> We have to get a vongole in here. This is very stuffy. It sounds very expensive. Yeah, yeah, it, it sounds very expensive. So, didn't it, wasn't it? Did you do the, the, the swap with Les on the yes. take your husband and wife's job for a day day or something? Yeah, I came up with that idea um, one night at dinner and I thought, let me run it past him first because if he's not going to swap with me, I can't pitch it to my executive producer. Right. I said, wouldn't it be funny if all the hosts of the early show were to, for one week, um, switch jobs with wow. your spouse? Because if you think about it, there are four hosts of the show, right? right? And two of them... Harry Smith and Hannah Storm, they are both married to broadcasters right. who work for another network. So they would be comfortable to, you know, to do it. And Leslie... It's a big old show-off. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I thought he'd be very comfortable doing yeah. it. And I thought it's always fun for the audience to kind of get to know a personal side of well, us. Well, I don't know. I, see, I don't like this trend because what if my ex-wives were to come on and, and host this show? <laughs> then you'd get some trash talked about me, I'm telling you. No, no, no. Uh, so how did you get on with it then? So you ran CBS for, so, a, for a week? No, I only did it for a day. Oh, right. oh, I, it was easy on us, the broadcasters, because we got to tape our day at the office, day right. being, you know, doing whatever our spouse does for a living. So, you know, I went to his big office. He's got a really big office. I'm scared when I go into that office. <laughs> but then again, if I'm in that be. office, I'm in trouble. That's <laughs> no. right. right, right. You know he loves you. Yeah, he I, loves know, I, you. I he love does. him too, but I still get scared going out of the office. It's it's imposing. He likes that. Though. Yeah, yeah, anyway, I know he likes, he likes that. that. Thing. I know it. It's so. the guards, you know, the armed guards walking down the corridor. <laughs> Dead man walking. Yeah. And he has that scary voice. He's you got know? the scary he's voice like, as well. Ah. And then, you know, Even when I, he's you, happy, it's you know, scary. You know what I like as well? When you go into Leslie's office and he's always kind of doing something at his desk and then he comes, he's kind of like, you know, I'm all right with you. And then he gets up and talks to you. He learned that at Super Power School, I think. <laughs> Is he like that around the house? Is he very powerful? He said, I'd like to go for dinner right now! You know, like, uh, I know. Really? <laughs> it's just who he is all yeah, the time. Yeah. But he claims that I'm the boss at home. So He's, he's smart. He's a yeah, smart guy. He's, he's smart, yeah. He's no fool. Yeah, yeah. He didn't know. Uh... No, that's true. <laughs> but it was good. It was hard on the spouses because, you know, they had to do a live uh, segment. So, yeah. on, on some of them, you know, it's, it was... How did, how did Les do? I, I missed the early show because I'm working so late because, you know, it's half past midnight now or one o'clock or something. <laughs> and this is live. Yeah. <laughs> um, he did really well. Did he? He interviewed um, Jimmy Woods because he's... I've interviewed Jimmy Woods. Now, there's a crazy man. Now, that's yeah. not easy. On no. one hand, you could say it's easy because he's so full of life and, you know, always has great stories. Oh, life, is that what he's full of? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
He's a great guy, Jimmy Woods. I don't know if life is what he's full of. But he's also someone that's hard to, you know, contain. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the machine's going to take us off the air, so when you have to hit that commercial break, you know, you just have to put, like, your hand over his mouth practically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it was... It was a semi-tough assignment for Leslie. For Leslie. Yeah, but the good thing is if he, if he did badly at it, he could just give himself a good report anyway because he goes back to be the head of CBS <laughs> the next day. We, we have to take a break, and then we'll be right back. We'll talk about Big Brother, all right? We'll okay. be right back with Julie Chan, everybody. You have to juggle so much, and you have to please a lot of people. Are you going to work with us on this? The CEO has to be a very tough negotiator. What would you like? I would like an overall deal. How much will you pay? How much do you want? A lot. Starting bid? I want a lot of money. Define a lot. Well, let's say a million dollars a day. Donald, <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> I'm here with the delightful Julie Chen. Now, let's talk a bit about the uh, the Big Brother show. What actually happens? Some people bring their brothers and they all um, <laughs> no, no, no. live in a house. No, it's called Big Brother because it's Big Brother is watching you, like right. the George Orwell novel 1984. Mm -hmm. And this summer, it's all stars, which means everybody who's been thrown into this house that is equipped with cameras right. and you're cut off from the outside world, everyone who's on the show this summer has done it before. Right. So it's like the all-star cast. Typically what we do is we take complete strangers and throw them into a house together right. and they vote each other out week by week. It's that's, like survival. You, that's like marriage to me. Really. That's a, <laughs> how I approach the whole thing. <laughs> hey, you're good, so are you. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So um, this summer, it's, you know, we, we're having our first live eviction show wow. Thursday night and it's a big deal. Is big somebody going to go nuts? Um, well, you don't know because it'll be live. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. No, it's fine. Hey, you know what I should ask you as well? What's the deal with Katie Couric coming to CBS? Oh, I know. This it, is great it, news. It, oh, come on. This is amazing. No, come on. And this is. Oh, this come is on. This is amazing for many different reasons. All right. You and Katie, really good friends then? Actually, I didn't know her until she got the job. Actually, right. I got to know her. It's funny because, um, you know, CBS was courting her for courting a while to yeah, so yeah. come over so she would have these casual secretive meetings over Did you worry home. about that when she was meeting Les? Were you like, what's that biatch doing with my man? Did yeah. you think? Like, what do you mean I have to go yeah. to the next room? I got <laughs> yeah, meeting with Katie Curry. <laughs> I'm like, she's cute, but not yeah. that cute. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's got the legs that America loves, apparently. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. I don't know. But that's, that's it. would you ever do that? Would you ever do the, the news reading anchoring thing? Um, in the evening, I prefer the mornings. Yeah, yeah. The mornings, you know, we cover everything from cooking segments to entertainment to hosting live concerts um, to doing serious news. So it's kind of like we get a you little a lot bit of, of gear everything. Changes to do yeah. That. yeah, it's you know, very the tiring. Yeah, it do, is. Do you ever, uh, do you ever follow, like the hours? What time do you have to get up in the morning to do that show? Well, when I do the show from LA, since it's still live to the East Coast, live right. 7 a.m. Eastern time. I'm up at about one o'clock in the morning. Wow. I know. That's the... Oh, come on. So you're my morning news program. Yeah. That's really... Because that, I'm up now and it's 1 a.m. Shut up. Yeah. So you, you, uh, you're up at what you do, the night shift, basically. Yeah. It's, wow. It's the graveyard shift. Do you ever fall asleep during the day at important meetings? Uh... Of course not me. Yeah. No, no, I never have. But you do sleep whenever you can. You sleep in shifts. You know, when in I... What? In In shifts. Oh, right. Okay. Like this shift. <laughs> and sometimes that too. <laughs> it's hard. It's not I easy. Know. Tell me about it, girl. It's so late and I'm still here. But you know, <laughs> I'll put in a good word for you. Yeah. <laughs> See if you can get me some time in the afternoon between the bold and the beautiful and uh, the other... Is that CBS, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, right. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Good job. Yeah. And the young and the restless. Yeah. And the young and the restless. That's right. Hey, do you ever fancy doing that, doing a soap? No. Oh, come that, on. You're no, cute enough. No, no, you no, could no, do no, it. no, no. I mean, acting is a whole... You've done acting and... Badly, but I've done it. No, yeah. you haven't. You're very good. You're very funny. And being funny while acting, I think, is probably the most difficult thing. Well, it's easy.